Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry. You knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. Otto Richter murdered my mother, and Mycroft covered it up. Whisked me away from this place, buried me in schoolwork, and, and left the past to rot. And you needed a way to cope, so I helped. You were a lie, John, a fiction, a crutch. No, I was... I was a friend. Sherlock, please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why is he here? I think, in his own way, he was trying to protect me. From a truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. Sherlock, what are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy, a childhood. There was no changing what happened, no good to come of dwelling in the past. It was lies upon lies. Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment led inexorably to that moment. You were so fragile. I could not... I, I just couldn't. I chose us over him. You know... For once, I believe you. And perhaps now that the truth is out, I can actually do what you had hoped. Leave it all in the past. Good. You have your whole life ahead of you, Sherlock. It is time you got on with it. I was worried there for a minute, Sherry. Really worried. I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> What's so funny? I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? Explored every inch of this place together. Helped a lot of people. Terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived wholly in vain. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past, you locked away. You don't need me anymore. I know. But I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Bye, John. <laughs>